we had talked a little bit earlier about the, the Wall Street versus Main Street. And one of the things that's happening is there's all of this cheap money and it all seems to go to Wall Street. And now they've put their sights on real estate investing. And, you know, everyone's talking about, you know, houses are being bought for 10, 20 percent over what they're being listed for. Supply is low. Uh, so is Wall Street involved in this aspect of uh, real estate investing? Well, it's almost like a spotlight got turned on to our industry in the last downturn. In the last downturn, of course, houses went upside down. The government had, in their infinite wisdom, had said, look, through the Community Reinvestment Act, we're going to cause banks to have to lend to people that have poor credit. And instead of helping those folks get in a position to win, well, they just, if they could fog a mirror, Wall Street was lending money to them. And so what happened was a lot of that got concentrated in certain neighborhoods. So as a result of that, a lot of those went upside down when the loan products that they had, which was called a two and 28, it was a 30 year loan, two years, they had a really super low interest rate. And then for 28 years, it went to market. Well, as a result of that differential, a lot of people found themselves, hey, wait a minute, my property didn't recover in uh, a significant amount of time. And so as a result, and my job didn't increase my income that much. So as a result, they got themselves in trouble uh, because they, they took a bad loan product for, for, for no other explanation than it was a bad loan product. It was a failed policy. And so as a result of that, they were actually in a position and got foreclosed. Well, all those properties coming back to the market at the same time caused prices and values of those properties to drop dramatically. Well, all of a sudden, anybody like myself saw that you can buy this asset for these dollars and still get this much rent. Wow, that's an incredible return on investment. So sure enough, Wall Street saw that too. And they came in and started buying up properties in droves. So it literally created a whole new industry, Wall Street in our backyard and our back pockets too. So individual investors used to buy these properties and offer them in their local communities. Wall Street came in and started buying them in droves. So, uh, you know, I'm reading an article last week, Lennar, had a whole subdivision of brand new homes in Houston and they come in, Wall Street comes in and buys the entire subdivision, 124 houses. So it never made it to the marketplace for good people with good enough credit and good enough down payment to be able to qualify and make that a community for themselves. No, that whole community now is going to be a rental community. And frankly, Wall Street came in and paid too much for those houses. but as a result of return on investment and their cost of funds is so low, they're able to do anything they want to. And they really don't have to perform uh, at a high level for their investors because their investors have no other place to put their money. So whenever you trust your money to Wall Street, don't expect a huge return on that. But sure enough, they have made a market in real estate as well. And we'll see what that brings, but certainly a whole lot of people that would love to own a home are now being X'd out of the market because of Wall Street. I'll